exciting atmosphere here in Spartanburg for the Wofford Terriers first home game of the season. They were coming into Saturday night not great 0-2 this year trying to get their first win of the year against the tough Presbyterian College team from just down the road in Clinton and that nearby rivalry showed itself with a couple plays like these ones right here. Some chippiness, a little extracurricular activity, but that didn't stop Presbyterian College from going for it all with a tricky play on their first possession. Presbyterian's first offensive play is a flea flicker. JBC pitches it back to Tyler Wesley, who bombs one to six foot four Devarius Abercrombie, and he's shopping for a touchdown. He cuts it back and he's in. A 66 yard trick play to start off the scoring. Number nine, Devarius Abercrombie. Second quarter now, Walford down 10 0. But watch this run by quarterback Bryce Coriston. Makes a couple guys miss, then he's breaking the law, speeding in a school zone. A 70 yard scramble for the score. Bryce Coriston for a Walford touchdown. An incredible play for Walford's first touchdown, but Coriston got hurt in the second half, limping off the field before this game came right down to the end. Fourth down for Presbyterian with just 30 seconds left, down by four points. Wesley firing and finding Worth Warner. It's worth it for the go-ahead touchdown. The Presbyterian Blue Hose taking a three-point lead with just 28 seconds left and winning 23-20. They storm the field with a celebration directed right at the Wofford student section. That excitement you saw from Presbyterian College, of course, for winning a game within the last 30 seconds by just three points, but also because coming into tonight, Wofford had beaten Presbyterian in eight of the last nine meetings. So Wofford's still looking for its first win of the year, and they'll try to get that against Virginia Military Institute in their next game on Saturday. For now, reporting in Spartanburg, Carmine Jame, Fox Carolina Sports.